guys asked him where he was today. I told him he was sick. I, I feel like an idiot for yelling. I mean, I, I just don't see why I should be the only one to have to sell my stuff. Well, you have a right to yell at them. I mean, they treat you like crap sometimes. Maybe you should sell some of your stuff, too. What? Well, you did wreck the car, and they were only trying to help you at the time. I, I thought you were on my side. I am, but sometimes there's more than one side. I actually got compliments on the food. That's a switch. You ought to see me in a real kitchen. I gotta stop calling this beast a roach coach. Wait till the word gets out. You'll be swamped tomorrow. Oh well, no. You're gonna have to help me again. I wasn't watching you that closely. I can pitch in again. I was hoping you'd ask. Oh, hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm just... No, no, no. These, uh... This could have been breadcrumbs, and, and uh, today's salmon is uh, tomorrow's salmon croquettes. It's uh, it's called repurposing. It's how you keep your food costs down. Thanks. So you sure your boss or your wife doesn't mind you moonlighting on your lunch break? Well, I kind of make my own hours at work, and it's, as far as the wife goes, well, since I moved out, she doesn't get much say over how I spend my lunch hour. It's good to know. Well, I'm going to start locking things up. Oh, what can I do to help? You got a broom? Yeah. Thank you. $175. Who are they kidding? Don't worry about the price. If you want it, get it. Here, try this on. Thanks. Right. Listen, I know it's probably none of our business, but... Uh... I don't think moving out of your mum's house is a very good idea. She had no right to tell me that I couldn't see you. Yeah, well, I just don't think that moving out is going to solve anything. Are you on her side now? Or on anybody's side. Just, you know, give them my opinion. What, like a real dad? Yeah. Although it'll be a while before I earn the right to that, right? Solutions, no wonder you don't remember. Yeah, well, some things you want to try and forget. <laughs> oh no. Come look at this, 199. I made it 250. You know what? We should listen to this together. It'd be like hearing it for the first time. Of course, we'd have to get you a turntable. Probably a whole new sound system. Dad, stop. Stop what? Stop trying to buy me. I'm trying to buy you? I'm just trying to make up for all the graduations and birthdays that are missed. You know, Mom said I shouldn't trust you. God, you can never get away from your pals, can you? Just keep smacking you in the face, no matter what you do to change. Listen, everything your mother told you about me was true. It's not true anymore. I'm just a dad trying to get to know his daughter. The only way I know how. You swear? Because she also told me you can make people think whatever you want them to think. The only thing I want you to believe is how much I want you back in my life. In our lives. Listen, I spoke to Pam. We're going to talk to you about this tonight. We want you to come live with us in Los Angeles. Live with you? Yeah. I want you to be part of my family, Dibs. I want to be the father to you that I never was. I want you to be that too. Okay, so you guys think I should wear my hair up or down? Up. Uh, sure? Just because you always wear down. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. 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 Good
Don't teenage girls ever run out of things to talk about? They're reacting all night. He's left. So, um, you get a chance to talk to Deborah's mother? Yes. Apparently there is some kind of cooling off period where they don't talk. Oh. And no, I don't know how long it lasts. Yeah. Well, Lisa will finally be quiet tonight. The girl's going out. The boys are taking them to Alfonso's. Alfonso's? Pretty fancy. Wouldn't know. Never been. Well, if you play your cards right, maybe one day you will. I won't hold my breath. I'll take care of it. We got a car back, and we paid off Mean Girl. So why do I feel so crappy? Maybe it's because we got rid of all of our cool stuff and we still don't have money for the girls. Oh, God, I just want to stay in high school forever. Can you imagine having to do this for real? Yeah, with kids and wife. Uh, well, the girls said they'd be up for anything, so what can we do for free? I got it. A picnic under the stars, and if it rains, under the stars in the car. That is brilliant. That's right. The girl doesn't love a romantic picnic. Hey, guys! Eddie! Hey, I couldn't help but notice that sweet ride you pulled up in. Ooh. Is that a 72? 73. Yeah, okay. that's about as many miles as it gets per tank full. Ah, oh, classic American. Anyway, uh, your boy Jonathan came by. What? Is he? Coughing like a donkey. He'll be out a few days. No, he could have just called, but I appreciate the responsibility. Chapter 8. Anyway, he, uh, he wanted me to give you this. Son of a... You need some help, Eddie? No, I need some help. Come on, come on. Good man. Good man. Good work. Very good. Good work, good work getting up there. I swear I'm going to tear that climbing wall down. Definitely. Yeah, you go get him, buddy. Have a good yeah, one. You go get them, Eddie. <laughs> How much we got there? I don't know, it looks like it's about 900. <laughs>